Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. It is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. This may not be your reading at all, or this reading may be about someone in your vicinity. Alrighty, Virgo for July 2021. What do we got going on? Woman holding a heart. And anxiety. Someone may be anxious to offer up their love or they say how they feel. Indulge. Permission to pamper. Interesting. You need a little bit of a pampering session to calm down your anxiety so you're ready to self-care. Wow, interesting. Self-care, it's like, take care of yourself here, for sure. That's very interesting. Both of those cards talk about that. Pamper yourself, cleanse yourself, whatever. To get rid of some sort of anxiety about something to do with love here. Nine of Swords. <laughs> anxiety. Okay, someone is extremely anxious right now. Like, I mean, we have five cards out and two cards are about anxiety. And two cards are about self-care. So it's like basically saying you need to find a way to control this anxiety um ten of wands burdens yeah someone is like extremely anxious and burdened and stressed and overthinking two of wands could be about a choice about something six of cups soulmate also it could be reconciliation Um, okay. Next two decks I'm going to use are the ones I created. They're available on Etsy. Etsy shop is at Simply Spiritual. Everything's linked below if you're interested. All right. Why is this person so anxious? What is this anxiety? Why, why is this person so anxious? New love. Someone's afraid to take the leap because someone new feels like. Player. Mm, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, so maybe this person has a very long history of dealing with the player type, the hoe type, the whatever, the ones that like to have sex and ghosts or whatever. Um, and it feels like there may be a new love that comes around. And. Um, this person's anxious to give it a shock because of everything that's happened in the past. Because maybe every time this person, you know, starts liking someone or something, they just ghost or disappear or they just are looking for sex or whatever it may be. Um, but it feels like there's a need here to kind of erase those um, beliefs, the belief system of that everyone's a player and everyone's here to just hook up and disappear. Um, because that's not always the case. Travel, you can meet this person on a trip. Hook up, okay. Uh. It's like feels like impending doom it may even be you do hook up with someone and it's like the oh here we go again right it's like here we go again i just hooked up with someone that i kind of like and it's like i know they're not gonna commit i know they're gonna ghost or whatever right it's like the state of mind where it's like what is this what was that right <sighs> Oh my god, this slipped again. Or this... Look at this. Any serious stress about... It feels like a hookup. Or, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, is this somebody someone actually hooks up with? Or is someone just afraid that this new love is just looking for that as well? Let me just figure out what that is about. Is this person... What's the deal with this person? Is this someone that hooked up with? Or is this just a fear situation?
Silence. Yeah, someone is terrified that someone's going to ghost them. But did these people already connect or is this just next messages? Oh my god. This is like seriously that. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? What does this mean? Yeah, this is like the limbo after like a hookup situation. You're like, well, I don't know what that was. Um, so what is it? What is the, what is the intentions behind this new person here? Free will. <clears throat> Might not be set in stone. What is the intention behind this person here? Manifesting. Wow. Okay. Like I just said, it might not are might not be set in stone. Maybe, and I don't one hundred percent believe in the law of attraction, so I don't want to preach this really. But I mean, I definitely do believe that energy does kind of manipulate things in a certain way, in the sense of if you're in a oh my god this person's gonna leave me mindset on the outside you're going to act as if that person is going to leave you right. Therefore, they may right. You may start getting cuckoo. And why aren't you answering my text? Blah, blah, blah. You know, even though <clears throat> you may feel like it's just something that's in your head. It's like it's going to portray in the 3D as well. Um, it's almost like don't self-sabotage it. It's like if you assume it's just sex, then that's the way it's going to end up turning out to be. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Gut feeling. Go with what your actual gut tells you, not with what your history of dealing with situations tells you. <clears throat> like someone is seriously paranoid, but triggered. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, someone has a long history of being hurt, uh, being used, um, lied to, whatever. Dealing with situations where it's like, you don't know, what are we? What is this? What are you looking for? Um, I'm sorry. Apology. Yeah. Because this person's used to just like a, people that maybe come back sometimes, but it's only just to hook up and they might say they're sorry, but they're really not. They just want to have sex or whatever. Um, but I can't quite figure out. Like, it's this person... I just feel like the what are we stage. <laughs> like, uh, um, solitude. I flipped earlier too. Inner child. So, what is the inner child? It's about things that doesn't have to be childhood, right? It can just be something that triggers you, which is this situation. If this is something that you've always dealt with, or it may have something to do with abandonment issues, like that you maybe dealt with as a child or something, um, something to do with being alone. Um, you maybe always assume. That people are going to leave you and maybe it's your brain that kind of indirectly has this stuff happen because maybe that's how you it changes the way you end up acting in the 3d it feels like because you're so i mean literally the amount of anxiety cards is insane here um and we had player and hookup it's just I mean, it's, it, it just, it, it feels like the confusion of, and then we have mixed messages, silence. It literally feels like the confusion of the, you know, what are we stage? What does this mean? Um, should I message them? Are they going to message me? Uh, was that just one time? Was it, was this a relationship? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, it just feels like that awkward period of... Is this love or is this a hookup? <laughs> but it's it, it's definitely because this person has had a cycle or is used to getting hurt. All right, guys, I think that's going to be all. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon or It's Simply Spiritual. 
Um, my Etsy shop is also called It's a Be Spiritual. Everything for that is linked below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.